Welcome to PSLE Maths, a YouTube channel where you can find solutions to problem sums from past year question papers. Search using the school name and question number or the keywords in the question. Let's look at a pattern problem. Question number 16 from 2019 prelims paper from Aitong Primary School. The figures in the pattern below are made up of dots. So figure 1, 2 and 3 are given. Part A of the question is how many dots are required to form figure 5. So let's draw a chart of figure number and number of dots. We see that figure 1 has 5 dots. Figure 2 has 3 more dots which is 8 dots. And figure 3 has 3 more dots that's 11 dots. So figure 4 would have 11 plus 3 14 dots. And figure 5 would have 14 plus 3. 17 dots. So that answers the first part of the question. Now coming to question B. Write down the number of dots in figure 50. To find the number of dots for figure 50, we need to derive a formula for figure n. So look at figure number 2 and 3 less than that is figure number 1. So figure number 0 should be 3 less than figure 1 which should be just two dots remaining. Finding figure 0 would help us find the constant part of the formula. So the formula would be 2 plus something. So for figure 1 it is 2 plus 3 times 1. Figure 2 is 2 plus 3 times 2. Figure 3 is 2 plus 3 times 3. So similarly figure n would be 2 plus 3 times n. So this method is called constant difference method. The constant difference here is 3. So the formula would be 3 times the figure number plus a constant. The constant here is 2 which is the number of dots in figure 0. If you have trouble deriving formula for pattern problems, you can go through the link that describes how to derive formula for constant difference method. Now we have derived formula for figure n which is 3 times n plus 2 which is nothing but 3n plus 2. So part b of the question is write down the number of dots for figure 50 which means n is equal to 50. So 3 times n is 150 and 3n plus 2 is 150 plus 2 which is 152 dots. So that's the answer to part b of the question. Coming to part c of the question which figure has 269 dots. So we can use the same formula 3 times n plus 2 is equal to 269. Now the number of dots is given which means 3 times n is 267 which means n is equal to 267 divided by 3 which is equal to 89. So figure number 89 would have 269 dots. So that's the answer to part c of the question. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more problem sums. If you have a specific question that you would like to see a video on, please post it in the comment section. Thank you.